Remember when the media ran that PR campaign encouraging foreign volunteers to go and fight in Ukraine? 16,000 foreigners have joined in the fight on the ground in Ukraine. Over the weekend, President Zelensky called non-Ukrainians to come fight to defend Europe and the world, as he put it. Let's check in on how that's working out. Spoiler alert! Not very well. Of course, some of those volunteers, the ones with actual military experience, went to fight well prepared and with good intentions. But let's be honest, a lot of keyboard warriors made the trip with very different intentions. Get to the border, take a few selfies for Twitter dopamine, Instagram likes and Reddit upvotes, then get the hell out of there. We've seen this kind of moral exhibitionism already backfire in another sense. A third of Ukrainian refugees aren't coming from Ukraine. People are commendably opening up their homes to Ukrainian refugees. But when they arrive, getting, let's just say, not what they expected. Whoops. D'accord, okay. Donc ça, vous me dites que c'est c'est vous Oui. D'accord. Okay. Mais il y a combien de temps Ah, il y a longtemps. Ça il y a longtemps. Ah oui, ça, ça doit être très longtemps. Oops. And now for the volunteer foreign fighters. When this guy went public with what was really happening to many foreign volunteers, the media ran hit pieces smearing him as a right-wing boogaloo boy who just got scared and ran home. But it turns out he was telling the truth. Our base got fucked up. The base right next to us got fucked up. Americans, British, tons of British dead. They're trying to send us to Kiev with no fucking weapons, no kit, no fucking plates so they told us we had to get the fuck out or they were going to shoot us in the back when you get to the border anyone who has kit anyone who has any military shit they're fucking pulling you out of the line and they're sending you back to the front people need to stop coming here it's a trap and they're not letting you fucking leave presumably keen on feeding more western dopamine addicts into the ukrainian meat grinder the media demonized the guy as a phony but his story is echoed by others who made the trip namely that foreigners who show up in ukraine are being treated like cannon fodder having their passports ripped up and totally ill prepared being sent direct to the front lines. And then being told, under martial law, they won't be able to go home until the war is over. Which could be weeks, or it could be years. Sky News reports that British man Ben Spann, with no military experience whatsoever, and without even telling his wife or teenage son, left for Ukraine, hopped up on media-contrived, sanctimonious grandstanding, to quote, join the resistance. He actually ended up trapped in a squalid safe house for five days, no toilets, no running water, having AK-47s pointed at his head by a Ukrainian SWAT team, then fled to Poland as soon as possible, having realized that he'd enrolled himself on a quote, suicide mission. Span subsequently said that foreign fighters with no military experience attempting to enter Ukraine are actually quote, more of a burden to the Ukrainian military. Really? And there I was thinking this literal real-life manifestation of a Soyjak meme would be combat ready in no time. Turns out playing Call of Duty in your student digs in between furious wanking sessions doesn't count as military experience. Who knew? Hundreds of members of the Volunteers for Reddit subreddit, yeah, Reddit bros, reportedly joined the Reddit Legion traveled to Ukraine and were immediately shelled and shot by Russian soldiers. They were told by the Kremlin that they'd be treated as mercenaries and war criminals. Yeah, but damn up votes though. Many of the Reddit Legion have no prior weapons training or combat experience, but their enthusiasm to post to other Reddit members about their mission to courageously kill Russian soldiers led to the location of their training camps being identified and then being killed by Russian soldiers. Whoops. They're sending untrained foreign volunteers to the front with little ammo and shit AKs, and they're getting killed. Yeah, but that internet clout. Apparently, many of them were deluded by Western propaganda about Russian forces being decimated, leaving Redditors vulnerable to the idea that they're joining some kind of hunting party and not an actual shooting war. Another British volunteer, 37-year-old Leon Dawson, was told by Ukrainian officials he'd just be a liability. We don't have the resources to train you. We don't have the time to train you either, they said. Another British volunteer, Carl Walsh, who volunteered as a medic, was assured by the Ukrainian embassy in London that he wouldn't be required to fight. And then ended up being told that his passport would be confiscated, he'd be given a paltry 48 hours training, and be sent straight to the front lines. Quote, it's a death wish, said Walsh. A French Foreign Legion veteran bluntly informed their group that quote 95% of you will be killed within days of arriving in Kiev 
and persuaded them to get back on their bus and go back the way they came. Yeah, there may be a 95% chance of them coming home in body bags, but isn't that worth it for the 100% chance of making it to the top of Reddit? Some of these foreign fighters from the UK were so keen on letting everyone else know that they'd arrived, that their cell phone signals, presumably in between checking who'd watch their Instagram stories, were picked up by Russian intelligence, who then used those signals to demolish the Yavoriv training facility in western Ukraine, killing 35 people. Whoops. Mercenaries who were contracted by the Wagner Group, a military company linked to Moscow, may have been operating nearby at the time of the strike, according to reports, and specialists fear they would have been able to pick up, locate and target a concentrated group of British mobile phone signals and pass the information to Russian forces. Yeah, turns out that broadcasting the fact that you're in a war zone isn't quite as rewarding as broadcasting the fact that you attended a Black Lives Matter rally. Ben Spann admits, having abandoned his wife and son and leaving them in a harrowing state of anxiety, that he travelled to Ukraine in order to boost his own ego. And therein lies the point. Many of these volunteers don't really give a shit about Ukraine. They're dopamine-addled, socially engineered NPCs brought up on a steady diet of vacuous virtue virtue signalling. But in 2022, virtue signalling just isn't enough. Anyone can add a Ukrainian flag to their Twitter bio. Now you have to be there. Even if it's just for five minutes, you have to get the selfie. You have to truly manifest moral exhibitionism. Are they brave for merely going in the first place? Maybe. You can't call them cowards. Are they stupid for thinking they can serve on the front lines of a hot war with zero military experience or weapons training? Yeah. They're definitely stupid. And who's to blame? Zelensky for immediately calling for foreign fighters to flood Ukraine with no proper system in place to vet or train them. The media for relentlessly amplifying the message because the can-do-no-wrong darling Zelensky said it. The Biden White House for recruiting TikTok influencers who are now using their clout to poison young minds with dubious moral imperatives. But more broadly, cultural institutions, social media, and society in general. And we really do live in a society for rewiring the brains of young people to think that charity, which should always be private, should in fact be as public as possible for exploiting the same brainwashing techniques that make people addicted to gambling and weaponizing them to incentivize very dangerous and sometimes deadly performative activism. All for likes, upvotes, retweets, and dopamine. All for the pointless prize of who can best demonstrate their moral exhibitionism. All in the name of what has become the ultimate and only virtue. Who can best demonstrate their support for the current thing? <laughs> It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.